guys, so this is part one, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Um, I'm breaking this song up into three separate parts. We're going to have the first part of the introduction, which we just did there, uh, and then we're going to have the second part of the introduction, followed by some chords in the third part. Okay, so this piece is kind of tricky, um, but it's really, really good for finger style. Uh, it will definitely get all your fingers moving. Um, I am playing this with what I would call the correct fingers. I'm using my thumb, my first finger, my second finger, and my third finger. It's actually, I find it a lot easier to play with just my thumb and my first two fingers, because that's how I learnt it, but we're going to learn it properly. Okay, so here are the tabs. Um, the first part of this song is actually relatively straightforward in terms of the left hand, because you don't need it. We're going to play an open E, so a low E there with our thumb, G string with our first finger, B with our second, and high E with our third finger, then come back up onto the B with our second finger, and the G with our first finger again, okay? And we're going to repeat that three times through, okay? That's one. That's two. That's the third time, okay? And then... On the fourth time, that is when we start to get into the piece properly. We're going to be using our left hand there. We're going to be getting the seventh fret with our third finger. Okay, so we're going to put our third finger on the seventh fret. Okay, so from the tabs, there we are, just beyond that first divide. We have this, we've got open, 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 open. Okay, coming back to that B. Then we're gonna play with our third finger now, the high E on the seventh fret. Alright, and then we're gonna play our low E open, our B open, and our high E on the seventh fret all together. And I like to put a bit of a roll, but very, very subtle, just playing those slightly off from one another. It sounds a little bit more cool. And then we're going to put our little finger, our fourth finger, on the eighth fret. Ah, oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to go straight to the pull off there, okay? So we're going to go like this G open, B open. And then we're going to pull off that seventh fret, okay? Seventh fret and pull off to open, okay? So it's going to be like this. And then we're going to come back up the B and the G strings there, okay? One more time. Okay. Then we're going back, all the way back to the low E. But we're going to keep the low E for the next, the next bit, okay? So. Pull off 7th fret, back to the open B, open G. And then the next part starts, okay? That's where this is on the next line. That low E is the first note on the second line, okay? So the second line is going to go like this. So we're going to play low E, open. G open, then we're going to play the B open and the seventh fret on the high E together. Okay, so that's going to be our second and third finger on our right hand. Those two together, okay? And then we're going to use our third finger to play that high E one more time. And we're going to use our little finger on the left hand on the eighth fret. Okay, then again, we're going to go back to the seventh fret. And we're going to go hammer on, pull off, okay? So in the tabs, the H is for hammer on. Hammer on from 7 to 8. All right, and then we're going to pull off, that's the P, from 8 to 7. But there, we're going to pull it off. We hammered on, so we're not playing it twice. So we're going to play one time with our third finger on our right hand. And we're going to hammer on and pull off the 8th fret back to the 7th fret. Then we're going to pull off the 7th fret to the 5th fret, okay? 
going to pull that seventh fret off, and we're not playing it. We're only playing once. Just like that, okay? And so you've got to get this pull off sounding really clean. And the way that I do that is by pulling down from the guitar. I'm not trying to pull out away from the fretboard. I'm trying to pull the string down away from the fretboard this direction, okay? Alright. Okay. Then we're going to go back up to the seventh fret. Play it one time. Then we'll play the fifth fret over our first finger and that's going to slide down okay so that little forward slash we're sliding down to the second fret then pulling off to open and then playing the string open one time okay so it'll go like this all right just like that seven five sliding down slide down to two and then pulling off to open, right? And then play it one more time, okay? The next chord, the next part, we're going to be actually fretting the fifth fret on the G and the B. But we're only going to be playing the B and the high E. We're not actually going to be playing that G string yet. That is the next note. This bit here where we play open on the A, fifth fret on the B and open high E is actually the beginning of the next section. The reason that we put it in there is so that you have a really smooth transition out of this first part into the next section. And this, if you practice it like this, landing there, you will be able to play the next section really, really smoothly, really seamlessly, okay? Even though you're not playing fifth fret on the G, I want you to fret it with your third finger on the G, fourth finger on the B string. And we're going to play A string, B string, and the E string. And that's it, that's the whole of the first section. Okay, I'll play the whole thing through one more time. The end of the first part. A couple of things to note about this. Um, first of all, this is my interpretation. It's slightly different from the actual official songbook. It's somewhat simplified. Um, and also, the original is, I believe, a half step down. Uh, so, if you want to play along with the original, every single string has to be tuned down a half step frets distance. Okay, so it'd be E flat, A flat, B flat, etc. Um, uh, it's also much slower. This version is much slower. Uh, it's a really good practice for finger style. It helps to get your fingers loose. It helps you to use the correct fingers on this hand. As I mentioned before, I like using my thumb and my first two fingers. It's just the way I learned it. I find it really smooth to play that way, um, but I'm forcing myself to use the right fingers. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, any questions? In the comments like and subscribe etc